today we're with Wyatt from Temple Environmental to teach us about septic tanks. Hey Wyatt, how are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? Good. <laughs> so when people are considering buying a house with a septic tank, the state of Florida doesn't mandate buyers or sellers to have an inspection. Correct. Yeah. So what would you say about that? What I would say about that is Although it's not mandatory, it's highly recommended. And the reason why is because the nature of septic tanks are that they tend to be very expensive on the repair side of things. So just worst case scenario, let's say you move in, you don't get the inspection and you find out six months down the road that you need a new tank and a new drain fill. That's something that can cost twelve to $15,000. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I don't wanna do that right away. So what I do is I come in and I just make sure everything is hunky-dory for you. And you have the peace of mind of knowing that everything's working as it should. It can be a pricey inspection. It's a little over a couple hundred dollars. Correct. What kind of money are they saving in the long run by being proactive instead of reactive? Well, there's a couple of different ways to answer that. One, the inspection itself is, is $270, $270. Um, but with that, you have the peace of mind of knowing that A, everything is working, and B, if there's something wrong with it, you can either take that information to the negotiation table or find a new home that, for, that, that works for you. So for example, 270 versus having the tank pumped out, that's gonna cost between 350 to $450. So it's an upfront savings, and if you do choose to have the tank pumped, the only thing you know about the tank is that it's empty. You don't know if it's working. That you bring up a great topic because a lot of people think that you have to pump out the tank in order to inspect it. So that's false. And the reason being is because everything about the septic tank system revolves on gravity and the levels inside the tank. At any given point, your tank should be about 70 to 80% full if it's functioning properly. When I come and do the inspection, I wanna make sure the whole thing is working. If I come in and I see an empty tank, that does mean nothing. If it's about that 70 to 80% full mark, I can check your drain field. I can check your outlet device. If it's got a filter, I can clean it for you. So rather than spending the extra money to have it pumped, just let me do the inspection. White, can you explain to us how do you find where the septic tank is and where the lid is? Sure. So um, where the tank is takes some skill um, sometimes, if you're lucky, you can just kind of smell the dirt and know where it is. Um, sometimes it's not that easy. So for today's example, what I typically like to look for are the vent stacks above the bathrooms. So you see those right up there. Typically the tank is directly out from that. So I have my handy dandy probing rod and I just kind of popped around in the grass a little bit. And you can clearly tell that this is concrete. So at that point it just becomes mapping out the dimensions of the tank itself. Now you have two sides to the tank. You have the outlet side, which we have partially dug up right here. This is the side that I always like to check because it contains the outlet device. This is the sole piece that connects the tank to the drain field. So it's arguably the most valuable piece, which is why I check it. The inlet side of the tank is back this way. And this is where everything from the home comes into the tank. And when you say everything, what do you mean by that? Everything from the dishwasher, the toilets, the kitchen sink, showers, dishwasher. So some tanks might have filters and some do not. What is the advantage of having a filter? So the filter is an added layer of defense from blocking the solids from going out to your drain field and clogging it up. A clogged drain field means you need a new drain field because the only thing out there should be liquid. So the filter just acts as an agent. It's a little kind of just like a regular filter. It goes into a tube and it just helps prevent the water to be clear that goes out to the drain field. It is the best. So the question for today is, one of them anyway, you bought a home with a septic tank, what do you do? Um, I always recommend you're gonna wanna pump out the tank every three to five years. Now, earlier I know I mentioned you don't wanna have the tank pumped. That's strictly for just an inspection purpose. The pump serves as um, a multitude of different things. One, the tank is designed to flow from a liquid perspective, but you have to understand the solids stay behind in the tank and they tend to build up over the years, which can cause blockages and things like that. 
So I recommend actually having it pumped out every three to five years once you move in. If you do have an inspection done, I'll be able to give you an idea of how long you have before you need to have that pumped out. So for example, a three bedroom, two bath home, you're gonna be looking at every three to five years, depending on how many people live there. And the reason being, septic tanks are designed on gallons of usage per day. So if you're a clean freak and you take five showers a day, you might be pumping more frequently than everybody else. The other thing that you can do to help the life of the septic tank is to clean the filter. Now for this particular model, it does contain a filter, which we did clean for free here today for the client. It's a very simple process. However, I always advise leave it to the professionals. Have somebody come out, have somebody look in your tank, maybe once every two years, maybe once every year, just to be safe and sorry. So if your tank was not originally, uh, didn't have a, a filter on it, can you add a filter afterwards? You can. The filter is a designated piece of the outlet device, which again connects the tank to the drain field. That's a very simple repair. A lot of times it's, um, it can be done in a couple of hours, but I will always recommend at least having a filter just for an added layer of defense to the tank and to the system as a whole. Is there anything that a homeowner should know to avoid in the house? Products to use, products not to use? So again, I'll reference back earlier, everything from the home is going to eventually end up in the tank. So not to be a strickler, but cooking grease, let's keep that away from the tank. Um, another one is feminine products. The best way to keep your tank clean, you hear a lot of stuff on YouTube, a lot of other guys will say flush Windex every you know four months. Don't do any of that. The only thing you need to do once a year is take a 99 cent yeast packet from your grocery store and flush it down one toilet with a cup full of water. And what that does is it actually helps keep good bacteria inside your tank so it kind of eats itself from the inside. As always, if you have any questions about home inspections or septic inspections, give us a call at Waypoint Property Inspection. We'll point you in the right direction.